Welcome to Roadfly TV, your latest automotive fix from Roadfly.com. Hi, I'm Dustin Barkley from Roadfly.com, and welcome to this edition of Roadfly TV. Today we're going to be replacing the idler arm on this X Body Style 1973 Chevy Nova. We already got it jacked up. Now we're just going to put some jack stands underneath the frame for some extra safety. Now we're going to take a look at the old idler arm and see what we got to do to get it off. And whenever you're replacing anything in a car, obviously you want to take a close look and see how the old piece is in there. It's also not a bad idea to make a diagram, but in this case we got two nuts here. There's also a castle nut down where the ball joint attaches to the rest of the steering. But also you want to make sure the new piece is going to fit. It looks like we're okay with that. Alright, we've removed the cotter pin to the castle nut. Now we're going to go ahead and try and get the castle nut off. Now the hardest part about this job is separating the ball joint from the rest of the steering. You're going to use what's called a ball joint separator and they come in a bunch of shapes and sizes. So you're going to need to find the one that's right for your particular job. Now what you do is take out the cotter pin, loosen up the castle nut, and then put the ball joint separator in between the ball joint on the idler arm and the steering. Then you're going to hit the ball joint separator with a hammer until they separate. Alright, we loosened up the two nuts on the side on the frame here. And we also uh, completely loosened up the castle nut. So let's see if we can't slip her on out. Alright. Alright, so we definitely do have the right piece. And we're going to go ahead and see what we can do about putting the new one in. Now before we put the new piece on, we want to make sure we add the grease fittings to the idler arm. And you always do want to give it a couple squirts of grease, even though they did grease it in the factory. Now before you put in the new idler arm, there's a plastic bearing that needs to go in between the ball joint on the idler arm and the rest of the steering. So go ahead and put that in, drop the new idler arm in place, then you want to tighten the two nuts on top where the idler arm attaches to the frame, and then tighten up the castle nut and install the cotter pin. Alright, everything's installed properly, now we're just going to give it a couple squirts of grease and we should be done. The new idler arm's in and everything's uh, snugged up. We double checked everything, everything should be alright. So the only thing that's left is take it out on the road and see how she feels. Roadfly.com, the internet's best resource for buyers, sellers, and owners like you.